older. He is slightly shorter of the two, and he has an experience disadvantage. He is, however, a southpaw, and that can always provide problems. Boxing auction and Jason Suddy's eight man king of the ring eliminator series. It's brought to you by Elite Grooming Crew. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing black trunks with silver trim. He has 12 wins, three losses, two draws, with one of his wins coming by way of KO. Representing Alpha Muay Thai and Poirua, he's a tough local Southpaw fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Rihu Smallman! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner enters the ring wearing black trunks with white trim. He has 20 wins, six losses, two draws, with two of his wins coming by way of KO. Representing Elite Tyke Kickboxing Headquarters in Auckland, he is the reigning, defending king of the ring, King! He is the WKBF World Champion, introducing Slick Vic Mitchcom! <laughs> Fight us in the center ring, please, for Clive Cowley's instructions. Listen to me, Ben. Make your hands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. Step back. Have a good fight. Don't let looks fool you. The baby blues of Victor Mechkov are dangerous. He has no mercy inside the ring. He will press and press until you break. Rehu Smallman, he looks in superb shape, the southpaw from Alpha. And, well, there's a big rib kick to start off proceedings from Mitchkov. The champ is here, Victor Mitchkov, the lawyer. He's got plenty to fight for, two-month-old. Plenty of purpose now. Here's a look to defend his title. And straight on to his game there. He's got a very good left hook, Mitchkov. Ruhu Smallman looking for the classic southpaw inside thigh kick. He went high that time. And again goes for that inside thigh kick, which uh, can unsettle a lot of fighters. Smallman's not orthodox himself, meaning uh, he throws unorthodox shots. Has that left kick up high, but Metzkoff caught on the glove. Came back with a right hand of his own. Heavily muscled both these two, Monty. Yes, indeed, both ready to fight in great condition. Mechkov a little bit jumpy for his, for my liking. And on the same, so... Smallman, he's not the prettiest fighter to watch, but he, he's unorthodox and he's very powerful. Mechkov slipped the left hand there. Just catching the lead leg and then uh, counting with a left kick of his own. That straight left from Smallman. Coming from his rear hand, the southpaw. And again, going with the straight left. This time, Metzkoff went inside. There's a little rattle of the family jewels. A little bit early to get the Christmas cherries out here in midwinter. Metzkoff not appreciating that, but it happens quite often. Southpaw versus conventional. As a southpaw, obviously the, the strong hand for him, or the power hand is the left hand, and straight he's looking to use that really noticeably in this bout. Nice work from Meshkov there, he went to the rear leg with his right leg, and uh, that's the leg you want to go to for both fighters, they want to hit the rear leg because it's uh, unconditioned. A couple of beautiful straight lefts there from Smallman. He's uh, just rattling Meshkov's cage a little bit. And Mechkov just drifting the wrong way. He's drifting into the southpaw. And you can see he throws everything into it, Smallman. Going inside thigh again. Stop. Stop. 30 seconds to go. This is the first round of this quarterfinal. Well, and it's pretty evenly matched, I have to say. Mechkov pulls out of the dump. It's not tie rules, so no points given for that. Mechkov starting to find a home in that rear leg. Ten seconds to go. Mechkov starting to slip the left hand now as well. With the unorthodoxy of small... of Rehua Smallman just starting to 
rattle Metzkoff. And there's a nice left hand right hook to finish the round. Possibly enough to win the round even for the South Bore from Wellington. Well, I have to say, the way he finished that round and what was pretty even, a toing and froing round, Monty, for mine, just swung at the way of the local boy. Yeah, it's not often you use that backhand more than the jab. It's nothing about setting it up. He was leading with it. He's vicious with it. He's obviously chasing after it as well as he steps off his two right. Metzkopf using both hands and legs very nicely. But then again, he got him with his own right hand of his own. Metzkopf is slipping the left hand, but uh, he's got to be cautious. He doesn't walk into a... When he slips like that, doesn't walk into a high left kick. Two, three left hands all in a row from Smallman. I think he'll be coming out and using that as well. Metzkopf, I think Metzkopf needs to get Smallman walk, walking backwards. Pressure him, make him go backwards and uh, expose some of the defensive frailties because if he's allowing him to bully him forward, it's just giving him a platform. And I think Metzkopf has more to offer if he allows himself to throw it. You see Smallman coming forward again, closing the gap. This time, there's that left hand in exchange. I'd like to see a straight left hand and a high left kick from Smallman landing the left hand over the top. A lot of it was taken on the gloves, but it's rocking Metzkoff back. He's made of stern stuff, though, Metzkoff. He's most dangerous when he's been hurt. And you see there's no backing off from him. Doubling up to the body and almost cutting him in half. Well, that's how you take the wind out of the sails. He realises plenty of energy in the tank, plenty of fuel. So take this son into the body. And now you see, can Smallman fight going backwards? Can he fight under pressure? And it is a suffocating pressure that Metzkoff brings. There's a left hand counter and that's put Metzkoff back on his heels just as he looked to be taking the ascendancy again. This is turning into a battle royale. Gosh, and there's still more than a minute 40 to go in this is the second round, and there's a cut on the top of the head of Metzkoff. It's not looking like it's in a dangerous place, though. High in the brow. And they can continue. That's just a, a little shaving cut there. And Metzkoff has had worse in the morning. If it's not flowing into the eye or impacting the vision, nothing wrong with it. Smallman's starting to. He's still pressing forward, but he's just a little less sharp. And this is where Metzkoff can start to pay dividends. Smallman misses with the left hand again. Metzkoff tying him up, using a bit more experience to work inside with the short knees and the clinch. Metzkoff slipping the left hand now. Smallman battling to try and find a home for that left hand. Metzkoff a little more variety with what he's throwing. It's getting messy in there. Smallman dropping his head badly now. Just as the fatigue starts to come on, Monty. Yeah, it's noticeable. That's the problem every time you get the southpaw versus the orthodox. The heads get in the way and the clashes. And with that fatigue, he is drifting forward slightly. Very dangerous. Well, that's an interesting round for mine. Rehu is Smallman. You heard him early. He rattled him early and he did get the cut. I'm not sure whether that was a head clash or not, but I think. Metzkoff is starting to break him down and he finished the round better for mine. That was Metzkoff's round in the second, despite being rattled early. A strong left hand on the right, millimetres off the bullseye, the target area. Look at him coming forward, relentless in his approach. The knees coming in then. But you know what? That's when he took the wind out of the sails. Metzkoff comes forward. He had enough of taking it himself, so he started delivering some superb body shots. And that really did tell towards the end of that round. 
And as I said, Metzkoff is most dangerous when he's been hurt. You saw him hurt oh, early. And that lit a fire under him. And I think he did three. enough to sneak that second round. And uh, let's see who will dominate as we go into this third and final round of the quarterfinal, the fourth and final quarterfinal at King in the Ring 75. Victor Metzkoff on the right of the screen. Rehua Smallman on the left. The Southpaw versus conventional. Metzkoff, the reigning champion. Nice little left hook there from Metzkoff. Heavy, heavy left hand there from Smallman. Metzkoff has just started to read him a little better, Mondi. Yeah, I'm not sure. Smallman is 100% right. He's favoring that left leg a little bit. He's throwing him off, but still reverse back to the left hand. Straight again. Metzkoff this time puts him on the rope and has a go. What Metzkoff is doing now is he's starting to slip the left hand and he's making him pay for missing. So Smallman needs to go back to the left kick to the right arms across the right arms. You see also starting to drop. You see as soon as he brings those arms up, he opens up to the left hand. If he doesn't keep firing that right kick, Metzkoff will come down the center with a straight right. Beautiful work there from Metzkoff, starting to chop away at the rear leg of Smallman. And that one inside. Smallman visibly now tired. Metzkoff, a python. He's strangling the life out of Rehua Smallman. Plenty of time in this, the third and final round. It is all on the line. One and two were close. A Smallman probably took the first, Metzkoff the second. So everything on the line. And this is the fourth and final quarter-final. Just remember, we also have extension rounds as an option. Well, that looked more like a double-handed back take. It was a restless grab from Smallman. He's taking time to get up, too. He is fatigued. Yeah, and I think out of both of them, he's the one who's struggling. As Metzkoff once again on that back leg of Smallman. He knows he's in a lot of pain. He knows he's not quite right. There's a left hand. Right hop. Smallman finding a home again. And it's throwing down. Bombs away. Both boys exchanging viciously. Well, whoever wins is uh, going to have to spend some time catching their breath because they've sustained damage. Big body kicks again from Smallman. His left hand, though, is dropping. Metzkoff should throw his right leg high. Kevin Dick tapping his man. He really wants him to dig deep. 25 seconds to go. Another head clash, I think. Metzkoff. Both of them still very much on the line here. Fatigue. Metzkoff going to that back leg again. Nine seconds. Big left hand to finish off with from Smallman. The crowd going wild. Well, Metzkoff dominated the first two minutes. Smallman came back in the final minute. He landed heavy shots for mine. Metzkoff would have narrowly done it, but it could go either way. Monty, you're willing to take a punt? Oh, look, I'm just enjoying it at the moment, just soaking it all up. The dentist who looks after teeth by day and tries to extract them by night. Jeez, he was brilliant. Look at him, relentless, going forward. He was out off his feet, but he would not give up. Smallman, absolute beast. Look at him. Doesn't quite have his feet, but that didn't stop him from punching. And Metzkoff, he met him. And we see the Fortnite move, the floss. Well, there we go. My sons have been trying to teach me that. I ain't got it, but Rehua Smallman still has at the end of the round. There's a cut high on the forehead of Victor Metzkoff. That will not prevent him from going forward. It's not in a dangerous place. But this fight is still going the go either way. And remember, we also have an extension round as a possibility. Ladies and gentlemen, you would have to say that was so much the fight of the night. Round of applause for both these fighters. After three rounds of kickboxing action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision where we find a majority decision winner. For your winner going on to the semifinals a little bit later on here tonight, fighting out of the red corner, Slick Vic Metzko! One
judge when to draw. The other two, I would think, narrowly to match.